if you, you ain't no true believer if you don't really understand what it's like to be tapped in with the Holy Spirit and then also recognize what it's like to feel distance from the Holy Spirit. Like, he's always there, but you know that there is a difference when you're close and when you're distant. The only way I can compare it is like having that one friend that you talk to every single day and then all of a sudden you talk to him once a month. We gonna have this conversation right now. What up, y'all? This is your boy, King Legend 757 and uh, I know this video may seem like it's a little bit different than what you're used to, but um, I just got out of church, and I decided to shoot this video because I know sometimes when you guys are following, I'm saying, a particular person or an influencer or even a platform it's easy to look at those individuals on that platform as people who seem like they got it all together, right? You 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 look to these people for advice, wisdom, and even help even to help your walk with Christ get better. And this video that I'm making is not so much for the unbeliever, but it could also help them. But it's really for the believers, the people that claim to walk this walk every day in Christ, with the mind of Christ, striving to be more like Christ. A moment of transparency, because I don't want you guys to look at me and put me on no pedestal. I'm perfect, and I got it all figured out. Nah, man. The results of me being obedient to Christ Having Jesus as Lord in my life is what you guys see on these platforms. And yes, in my personal walk, I'm like that on camera and off camera. But even still, we have these battles that we go through in our walk. And if there's any believers out there that claim to be a disciple and they don't ever go through no battles, spiritually speaking, or dealing with the flesh, they lying, bro. They don't, don't believe them. They lying. We all battle. The flesh and the spirit will always battle while you're in this life. The flesh wants to do what the flesh wants to do. The spirit man wants to do what pleases God. And some of the transparency, so like all this year, my own personal walk with Christ. I've been focused on not just being a hearer of the word, but a doer of the word. Applying the scriptures to my life and really transforming my life as a believer to be more like Christ. That whole what would Jesus do mentality. And I have surrendered my life to Christ in every area, with the exception of one. And I'm not going to put that on blast because I want you guys to really hear the message that I'm about to say to you. And in this area, yes, I have been struggling. I have been seeking help from the Lord, from the Holy Spirit, and things have been hit or miss. I've been inconsistent, to say the least. And just for the sake of people wondering, no, I'm not talking about pornography, but I am talking about lust of the flesh and doing things that I know I shouldn't be doing as a believer. And it's difficult because once you have influence, you're not allowed to publicly make mistakes, which is why I'm making this video to really show that we're not perfect. What got me here is I've been seeking God and there's been a block, and I, I can't understand it. Struggling to read my Bible, struggling to pray, even pray over my food, struggling to pray. And I, I'm trying to figure out what this block was. And so it's been on my heart for a while because it's weird because the Holy Spirit is still able to use me for others. 
But for my own personal walk, it's like I'm on timeout or something. If you, you ain't no true believer, if you don't really understand what it's like to be tapped in with the Holy Spirit and then also recognize what it's like to feel distance from the Holy Spirit. Like he's always there, but you know that there is a difference when you're close and when you're distant. The only way I can compare it is like having that one friend that you talk to every single day and then all of a sudden you talk to him once a month. Your bond is still maybe cool, but it ain't gonna be as strong as it would if you talk every day. Knowing what that person is doing all the time, your bond is gonna be different. It's kind of like that with the Holy Spirit when you aren't in the presence of God as much as you should be. You carry that presence with you, but it's like you can be distant from it as well at the same time. I have experienced that where I felt moments of being distant from the presence of God. Not that the presence wasn't there, just not as strong as it was at one point. And that, I know exactly what it is. I was fasting every month for a full week this year. I'm going through some real hard times in my life, personal, outside of the podcast. I'm in fasting, seeking the Lord every week out of a month. And I did it consistently for about the first six or seven months this year. And I mean, that's straight fasting and praying. It became almost a habit or a discipline of mine. And then I literally was trying to come up with excuses not to anymore. I couldn't, I couldn't get myself off the program, so to speak, without feeling like I was letting God down. Hey, God, I ain't fast for you at all this month. You know, that, 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 the heaviness was on me. It's, I ripped the bandaid off. I stopped fasting. I stopped fasting. One month went by. I felt bad about it. felt crappy about it. Then the next month went by and I felt worse. And then recently it was like, I'm on month three and I ain't fast. And then what I've noticed is that flesh has gotten so much stronger over the last three months of me not fasting than it ever did when I was. My lesson that I want to share with you all is really about fasting and how important it is to your spiritual walk. When we fast, we deny our flesh to the point where we give God all of our focus, 100% undivided attention. And in those moments, in those um, moments where we're, while we're fasting, our flesh is weakened. It loses strength. We're able to be effective in ministry. We're able to be effective in doing the will of God, but we're not battling our, our flesh that way. Because literally, when you come off of a fast, you experience holiness on a whole new level to the point where you stiff arm in the flesh. You, you throw your flesh around like a, wag, a rag dog when you fresh off of a fast because you charged up. You 100%. It's when we don't fast, man, we, we're, we're losing that, that strength that we may need to fight certain battles in our life. And while some people may feel like it's okay, walking this walk at 50% ain't nobody that good period, because there is no one who is good but Jesus Christ. There's no one who is good but God. You can't walk this life at 50%. You got to be at 100% because the enemy is trying to kill you. He's trying to kill, steal, and destroy your life. You have to always be at your best because that is the only way we win these battles of the flesh. We have to train. We have to remain consistent in doing so. Church was heavy today. The message was on point. A lot of people are consistent with being inconsistent. And that's the only thing they're consistent at in their life. And y'all keep me in your prayers. I thought it would be good for maybe other people to see another side of this person Take the mask off, man. We're not perfect. We are striving to be better believers that that represent Christ. 
I don't want somebody to ever look at my life and say, oh, he got it all together because, boy, when I tell you that the person you see is only because of the Christ on the inside of me, I have I can take no credit for anything. It's all him. It's not me. Thank you for the support. Thank you for you guys watching these videos. Thank you for you guys taking the time out your day to really pour out your feedback in the comment section. Have, have transparency, bro. Iron sharpens iron. Be tapped into your local church. Be tapped into people who want to see you walk in the authority that Christ has given you and to leave a life that pleases God. I had to repent. That's between me and God. But I want you guys to know that it's important to truly, truly, truly be consistent and committed to this discipleship. Be committed to your to your growth as a believer. That's so key. It's so easy to get complacent in your walk where you feel like, hey man, I've been doing this for a while now. I think I got the hang of it. You ain't never got the hang of it. You ain't never got the hang of it. Jesus is always going to take you places that you didn't know you could go. He's always going to challenge you to grow. You're never going to be at a place until we get to heaven and we reach glory <laughs> that we that we can feel that we mastered this thing. No, we are continuing to grow because we're always fighting the flesh. When you get to heaven, you won't be fighting the flesh anymore. That is going to be the difference between then and now. Now, the only thing we get better at is fighting the flesh. It's like becoming a fighter. You get better at fighting, so you lose less fights. But it don't mean you ever you don't ever step in the ring to fight. You don't retire until you until you reach glory in heaven. That's when you retire, hang up the gloves, and say, "I don't have to battle my flesh anymore," because you won't. But right here. We always going to be battling this flesh. And sometimes it wins. Sometimes you're going to fight an opponent that ain't like the other opponents you done fought before. And so you may feel like you're on a winning streak right now. But the enemy is definitely sending opponents your way that will go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you in that ring. And if you're standing on your own strength because he caught you on a moment of spiritual weakness, a season where you're starving the spirit, because you ain't praying, because you ain't fasting, you will get knocked right on your butt, and Jesus will be there to pick you up. But you got to remember, you got to put in that work, and you got to really be committed to this thing for real with your whole heart. I love y'all. I'm out. I just want to share that with you. God bless you.